Hello students. So let's try to solve uh, one more problem from CSIR NET 2023. And this exam was held in June, 8 June actually. And this problem is from mechanics or classical mechanics, you can say. We have divided uh, all the syllabus of mechanics and classical mechanics in two parts. One is the general mechanics, another is classical mechanics. So this question is very straightforward, but very, very conceptual question. There is not any hi-fi calculation is there concept is very nicely given uh, is asked so there is a disc and let's say this that disc has a radius r but it is not given but what is given that moment of inertia about x axis that is i naught and whole disc is rotating with a angular velocity omega naught that is j plus k vector so it has just making some uh, this angular this particular angular velocity is not along principal axis, not along any principal axis. So this is very interesting. So what we have to do, we have to calculate the vector or direction of angular momentum vector. So if we will calculate the angular momentum, we can easily write the direction. So this problem can we only approach with the, with the concept of moment of inertia tensor. So when we will write this moment of inertia tensor of disk, then Fortunately, this is diagonal uh, thing. So moment of inertia tensor will given as some mr square by 4 that is along xx axis and all other term will be 0. You can easily calculate this particular thing. And this y axis is all about mr square by 4, 0. And about zz axis, that value is mr square by 2. So this is your moment of inertia tensor. You can easily calculate each and everything, but we know that this moment of inertia for disk is this one. This is your principal axis. This is moment of inertia about I axis. That is about the principal axis. This is for YY and this is for ZZ. And we all know this particular thing. So what is given? This value is I naught. So this value is I naught. So I can write I is equal to this value is I naught, zero, zero. 0, this value must be I0, but this value is equal to 2 I0. And what is your angular momentum? Your Sorry, what is your angular velocity? Your angular velocity is given as omega0, and I can write in a column vector form that is 0, 1, 1. So this will be my angular uh, velocity. So what will be my angular momentum? So we know that angular momentum L is equal to I omega. So here my I is moment of inertia tensor. And when we will put this particular thing, that value is I naught 0, 0, 0, I naught 0, 0, 0, 2 I naught. And this thing is 0, 1, 1. And with the magnitude omega naught, we can also put here. So what will this value? So this value is equal to omega naught I we can take common and that value is equal to along j cap plus two time k cap. So this is my angular momentum. And this angular momentum is along j cap plus two k cap direction. So I think the option is three. So option three is correct one. So this is a straightforward question, but uh, the thing is that in the examination, this you should approach from the moment of inertia tensor concept. And uh, if you have done the practice that what will be moment of inertia for ring, for disk, before that add we have done in our class also, then we can write it within a second of this thing and then you can just approach this one. So when your angular velocity is not along any principal axis or not any along uh, this uh, either X cap or J cap, then obviously you have to go for a moment of inertia tensor concepts because moment of inertia not just a number it is a tensor and then you can get this one so it is a wonderful question very conceptual and i have seen a lot of people have approached it in a incorrect way so this is the correct way to approach this problem thank you